guys, what's the match sheep here? And today I want to slowly die in a chamber because I just recorded this whole video and noticed it wasn't recording. But anyway, let's get on to this video. Today we're doing ammonites, and ammonites are one of my favourite fossils. Favourite. Ammonites are perhaps the most widely known fossil possessing the typically rid ribbed spiral form shell which is that the creatures lived in the sea among bernamites which was last video for about 65 to 240 million years ago they believe they became extinct along with the dinosaurs how they became extinct how you want to believe that the name ammonite originates from the greek ram horned god called ammon you know, there's a lot of Greek names in this. Uh, ammonites belong to the cephalopods, like belemnites. The range of species sizes come from big to small. There were multiple species of ammonite. They were around during the Jurassic and Cretaceous period, like the belemnites. So they're very similar to the belemnite. Even like I shown in the last video, ammonite, belemnite, belemnite. They're the, they're around the same time, or they're preserved well. So let's bring you on a trip with all my fossils and that's a lot. And I'm really frustrated because I just recorded all of this and then I noticed it wasn't recording. I just wanted to cry. But okay then, let's get started with the first step of one I got. This style of my collection that I have today. Very nice specimen of an ammonite. And uh, yeah, like I said, this start is the style of my collection that I have today. That I grew around. These ones were my third and fourth ever fossils. The second one was actually not an ammonite, so I'm not showing it. But yeah, look at these. They're very raw ammonites instead of something as good as that. Uh, I have this ammonite here, very nice if you look at it. Then on this side, a very nice chrome inside, which I really like. There's this one which I'm pretty sure I bought in Whitby, which was really overpriced compared to other fossils that I bought. It's like that fish I have that's really small and it's like £10. They got a really big one that's £3. Uh, yeah, so this was overpriced. I can't remember how much it was, but I remember it's overpriced, but it's nice. Uh, Whitby was where I found my first ever fossils. First ever one I found was this, it's really nice. Other ones I'd lost track of what I found. I remember my mum finding this, didn't really like it. So threw it back on the ground while she was looking for something like that. And I went, screw it, I'm picking it up because it's still got some mark on it. And I still have it today. And it's only got a little mark on it and I don't know why I picked it up. It's like there and there. I've always wanted to try and just chisel this top off to see if there's anything underneath. I'm a very weird child. Okay, so we get something like that, something like that, but on the other side, that, something like that. These are all parts of an ammonite, and then this part is a trace fossil of an ammonite, basically, where an ammonite is like that. They found the ammonite, this part was just left there, leaving a mark on the rock. <sighs> okay, okay. Here is one that my parents bought when they went to Middleton Crystals first time round. Oh, dropped it. As you can see, this is an inside of an ammonite. Basically, an ammonite would be found and they take it out and then leave the dent in the rock like that. Very interesting stuff. Pretty sure this isn't an ammonite, just wanted to show it off. Uh, like I said, they range from big and small. These are very small ammonites all in here. Uh, I'll try and pick out the biggest one. That one's pretty big. You probably can't really tell but yeah these are all ammonites in here and like bits of an ammonite and everything and it's really good and i keep it in a little tray there which is awesome spark stretched um uh -huh, that's think 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 okay uh this ammonite second time going to tilt on the hill i found this very nicely just like that, very preserved well specimen. This one was from Millstone Crystals, second time going, I'm pretty sure. Very nice smooth surface. This one also from Millstone Crystals, first or second time going. Can't remember, you can see a very nice spiral there and the indent of it. This one was from Jurassic Gems Year 1, uh, £3. These two were Jurassic Gems Year 2, £5, £10. 
I'm going through this fast because I don't, I, I, I just did it, like I said. These two are cut polished ammonites. This one is half of a cut polished ammonite. This, oh god, these ones are the hard ones because you've got to position them right. There we go, you can just see it there, you can see the end then on it. This one, position it right. There, 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 you can see the end then on it. This one, there's a bit on the back as well, but also a bit of sending them right. This one is a rough, I'm not dying off from Tilted on the Hill, which I really like. Not Tilted on the Hill, Jurassic Gyms, I meant. And this is <laughs> first ever find that Tilted on the Hill. First ever rock picked up at Tilton on the hill actually, saw it on the ground, went oh look a rock, let's pick that up, and boom, I find that, and boom, that is me done, I am out, this is nearly six minutes long, you know, reindeer, head, deer, head, I don't care, man out.